Donald Trump talking about his plans for extreme vetting for refugees and immigrants who want to enter the U.S. Here now, the author of Defeating Jihad, The Winnable War, Dr. Sebastian Gorka. So, Clapper, Comey, Brennan, if you look at the name, Steinbeck, McCall, General Allen, all said ISIS will infiltrate. Trump is listening, and he's saying, okay, if they're going to infiltrate, we better vet them to keep Americans safe. Why is Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama willing to gamble with the lives of Americans? Because that's what they're doing. Why would they be willing to do that? It's part of their ideology, Sean. Remember, these are people that are shaped by the one world multiculturalism. These are postmodern secularists, and they think, you know, it's unfair to close our borders. Uh, we had the former uh, Secretary of Homeland Security state recently that uh, our borders should be porous. There should be no such thing as airtight borders. It's not about national security, Sean. It's about ideology. It's about one world multiculturalism. Well, what is the ideology except that if you don't listen to these, these top intelligence officials saying, yeah, ISIS will infiltrate, then if they come in and they kill Americans, then don't you bear part of the responsibility for those Americans that are victims of whatever terror attack they bring with them? As, as we've discussed before, Sean, uh, reality is optional on the left. It's not about truth. It's about their narrative. Look at this weekend. We've had 11 devices deployed. Only a handful of them exploded, but 11 devices were deployed, IEDs. How many people have to walk around America with shrapnel in their bodies? How many people have to be killed or maimed until they say, yes, there is a threat? ISIS said they're going to use refugee streams, and you know what? They've done it in Europe. So let me ask you this. We, well, we know there are 88 Sharia courts in Great Britain. We know the no-go zones are real. I don't care how many times liberal press says they're not existent when they are. We know what happened. Look at what happened with Angela Merkel. I mean, the, the, her party was destroyed in the elections. Um, add to that Belgium. Add to that Sweden. Add to that all of Europe and the impact that this is having, you know, the Islamization of, of Europe. So I guess with 50 days to go, we're going to elect a president that either acknowledges radical Islam, that will vet these refugees to keep Americans safe, build a wall and protect our borders, or we won't. So the American people have a very clear choice, don't they, in 50 days? Sean, this has become a national security election. I believe in my heart the majority of Americans, when they walk into that polling booth, will be making this decision. Which person is going to protect me and my family? Is it Donald Trump, who's declared war on the Islamists, or is it Hillary Clinton, who until the Nice attack wouldn't even use the word jihad to describe our enemies? She still Which one is going still, to protect us? She still using, you know, playing word games and threading a needle and is afraid and, and doesn't want to hurt people's feelings. But, all right, Dr. Gorka, always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. And up next, tonight. It's tougher about my supporters than she does about Islamic terrorists. Anyway, Hillary accusing Trump of aiding ISIS, really? He's firing back on the campaign trail. Sheriff David Clark, Dinesh D'Souza, they're next.